So we are back. And now, as much as Netflix changed the game on some of these romantic relationship gear shows, there were a lot of problematic things for me in the ultimatum. Now I could go on all in day, but we don't got time for that. So for me, these are the things that I picked up from the comment section of my last video, my TikTok. So let's go over some of these things that were a little bit problematic. So let's just get straight to the point, okay? Cause that's what y'all came here for. That's what y'all been in my comments about all the problems of this show. So one of the primary things that I want to talk about are pronouns. I feel like this show really did a disservice to discussing pronouns, um, gender conformity, um, relationship roles, the spectrum on gender sexuality. I think we could have talked more about that. For me making these videos, it has been so hard to really find out what people's pronouns are because you can check up social media. Some of them are active. Some of the cast are not active on social media. Some people's pronouns were one way during the show which we know was filmed a couple years ago and they changed some of these pronouns have changed and i don't want to just do a google search for someone's pronouns because google can tell me anything and i could still be making mistakes so one of the hardest things for me was pronouns trying to reference people's pronouns i don't feel like netflix really took the time to highlight or indicate people's individualized experience regarding pronouns and how um, people's pronouns really affect how they feel when they look out into the world, how the world sees them. And I think it could have been an opportunity to learn more about the importance of recognizing, acknowledging people's pronouns. And I was left like, how do I figure out what, the, you know, some of these castmates pronouns are? And if it had been made easier, you know, in the confessional, it could have said your name and at the bottom of your name, it could have said the pronoun. We could have also had it where prior to the show, they could have done a little bit a special, you know how they do the little things on social media where they do a little casting and let us know what are some people's pronouns. I personally did not see that. It could have been somewhere, but your girl did not see it. So for me, they dropped the ball on pronouns, discussing gender conformity, how that affects relationships, how that affects people in the queer community. Like what happened to all that, okay? I feel like we got caught up in the antics of some of the people on this show that some of the educational things that could have happened, personal experiences. I feel like when people watch some of these shows, we wanna see people's, we wanna see storytelling. We wanna see real life experiences. I would have loved to learn more about Ozzy's experience. I would have loved to learn more about how um, Ozzy has shied away from the family relationship because of different things. Maybe that's just a therapist in me. Let me know in the comments, was it just me? Or did y'all want more storytelling, more emphasis and focus on the experience of someone living um, in the world that tells them queerness is wrong, all the hatred, all that dumb stuff that you know people who are queer deal with. Why couldn't we have focused on that? Was it, would it have been too much? Am I asking for too much? Let me know. So that was my first thing, pronouns. Also just about the queer experience and dating, um, having to exist in the world that tells you that you're dirty, disgusting. I want to learn more about that, like really personalized experiences. And I was hoping to get a little bit of that from the reunion, but I did not get that either. So let me know, are y'all missing some of that? Let me know. Now, moving on, another thing that I didn't realize until someone said in the comments, because there are a lot of details. I watch these shows, but I can't pick up on every detail. And I will be the first to tell you as a therapist, I don't know everything, okay? I wanna learn, I like learning. So another thing that um, I didn't pick up too much on was how some of the cast members who were more masculine presenting compared to those who were femme presenting were um, asked more about finances, asked to show up more in a financial aspect than maybe the femme presenting cast members were. Now, someone said that in the comments. I think a lot of people like that comment. See, I pay attention to the comments, y'all. 
I make videos about the comments, so make sure y'all comment on this video because I will look at them. I will make videos about some of these comments. I really do care and I really wanna learn and I really enjoy people sharing their experiences in my comment section. We're building a community over here. So make sure y'all keep commenting and liking on the videos. But anyway, like something like that, I didn't really pick up on because the distractions, the distractions of the drama, the distractions of the toxicness of the show, um, that I missed little things because it was like, oh, squirrel, look at that over there. But not picking up on this because maybe it's not my own lived experience that maybe I missed it. But yeah, I do. I did watch back and notice the difference in how um, more masculine presenting cast members were treated compared to more femme presenting characters or cast members. Let me know, did y'all pick up on that? It was very stereotypical in a lot of ways. That was my second problem right there. Okay, now my third problem is this whole DV situation the domestic violence between Mildred and Tiff. And I made a whole TikTok about this and I was very disappointed because I feel like a lot of people have sided with Mildred. And I'm wondering if, if it's because once again, Tiff is more masculine presenting that people for some reason saw that Mildred was more of the victim. And I saw comments on my TikTok about Tiff does not appear to be a, to be victim like what does that mean victim like um tiff is not exactly a victim is another thing i saw or well it was implied that tiff throws punches okay mildred sat up on that stage and admitting to being arrested admitting to throwing a picture frame okay now if this was a heterosexual show based those two people would not have been invited to um, the reunion. Those two would not have been on that stage together. But I'm not sure if it's because ratings, I'm not sure if these are two because they're two um, presenting as women that they were able to come on this show. But really, how can you have a DV victim and their perpetrator be on the same stage, be in the same atmosphere when um, you can see that there's just so much there that can go wrong, which it did. And so I'm wondering how is it that this was allowed, okay? Do you guys also feel like because it's a more, um, uh, it's a queer show versus a heterosexual show, that there were things that were treated differently. Things that would get like a, a clear pass um, on this show that would not get a pass if it was a heterosexually based TV show. Let me know your thoughts, but yeah. And then how Mildred was just able to continue just like throwing daggers, just coming up with things. For me, I, I'm not in their relationship. I was not there, but it did feel to me that this would have been a heterosexual show where you would have a DV survivor and the perpetrator on the same show. One person would have been on a Zoom or not on the show at all. So let me know in the comments, do you think that there were some um that netflix dropped the ball on safety mental health i've spoken so much about how the mental health of the cast was not it was not at the you know forefront okay at the forefront to me was tax dollars all right and now also you guys know i have talked about the host where did they find her um because y'all really have not found somebody um who identifies as queer uh, a bigger ally, something, okay? Kiki Palmer, was she not available? Because the host gave nothing, okay? And I think that was another ball drop. Like, who who in casting management was like, okay, we'll get this girl to do it? No, okay? If y'all do another season, or if y'all even do a Love is Blind queer love, don't do it. Get somebody from the queer community who really knows what they're doing, talking about, and somebody who's going to do more than sit there and look back and forth. And so my last point, going more towards piggyback on the beginning of what I said, also, how can you have a show about queer relationships and queer love and not talk about the elephant in the room, the state of queer culture, community, and the erasure of LGBT rights, all that stuff, how can you not bring that up? Like these are these people's lives, experiences, and it was not brought up, okay? 
whose idea was it to just to me kind of make this show aesthetically pleasing um cookie cutter in some ways of just like okay let's make this nice and pretty we're not going to talk about these things that are more politically driven but human rights are not a political thing human rights are the rights of us as humans so to not talk about those things that are happening in the state of emergency in the lgbt community all the deaths all that stuff i think it was also a disservice because once again we need more real life storytelling all the distractions all the drama of the show took away from hey let's talk about real stuff let's talk about lived experiences let's talk about the things that the people the cast on this show are going through where was it okay was it just me do y'all want to see more st storytelling on reality shows do y'all feel like that's what's missing because there could have been a lot more discussed talked about about human rights the human rights project things like that so let me know i don't have time to i can't make this a two-hour video about all the problematic things about netflix but these are just some of the things that i picked up on and that you guys told me in my comments so let me know your thoughts like this video okay let me know what else you want to talk about in the comments Thank you. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video.